All right, guys. So I started this weekend out looking for a fun project to do, and I was digging through some stuff, and I came across this vice, and I said, you know what? I am going to maybe uh, take a crack at this today and get into it. So I threw it up on the bench, um, and before I knew it, it was 10 o'clock, and it was time to hit an estate sale that was close to the house, and that's where I got this stuff from. And sure enough, hey, I came across another vice. So let's talk about that first. Uh, but I also want to let you know after this estate sale, I ran into a gentleman and he told me as I was leaving, if he saw I was leaving with a couple things of tools, he said, hey, if you like tools, you got to go to this estate sale I just left. So I'll share that with you in a little bit. Now let's jump into this. So the first thing that caught my eye was this vise and it was on the bench and they actually had it screwed in to the bench as well. It was dark. I couldn't really see the maker marks on it, but I could tell it was well made. I really liked the way the screw went in and then it had these other two supports. Um, so I asked them what they were looking for it and they said they were hoping to get about $25 for it. And I checked it out. It was tight as a drum. Everything worked great. Um, the only drawback of it was that it was missing this small little, um, you know, the little bar that goes through here. They had a finishing nail in there, which is kind of silly, but um, that was it. So I said, you know what, it's more than I want to spend. I was, you know, but I'll, let me uh, see what else I could find and I'll make you an offer uh, for everything. In my mind, this is, you know, a $10, $15 item tops that I'd be willing to spend that in a state sale being that it was so dark too and I couldn't even tell the makers on it so um what I did then is I went back and I bundled up a bunch of stuff so let's take a look at that so you know I love cases this was an old Japanese brand high test empty socket set case for a quarter inch drive but I could paint this I could put sockets and I come across sockets ratchets all the time would make a nice little SK case hmm, good idea Painted SK green, put some SK sockets and ratchets in it. I uh, like 357 Mag Dad taught me a long time ago. When you come across these, give them a shake. Make sure they have the bits in them. <laughs> this was the bits were obviously sticking out. It's definitely a little beat up, this push drill. It still works. It could be cleaned up. Uh, but even if I just used the bits out of it, um, I figured that would be something good to bundle in. Nice 5-inch Williams 3H extension. Little Billings. Uh, six inch made in the USA little uh, what do we call these these days crescent wrenches is what I call them but adjustable wrenches I guess is the real name of it these I love because you could just throw them in any draw throw them in a car throw them in a socket set and you got a wrench an old Irwin screwdriver um, let's see a couple of pencils let's see a couple other cool things I just figured you know when you have to buy this stuff it's so expensive you have to buy a 12 inch chisel you know you got to separate something you're going to be wailing on you got to buy one of these it isn't going to be cheap so if you could pick one of these up for next to nothing you can see it's craftsman made in the usa it's 12 inches long with a uh, three quarters of an inch wide and it looks like it's in really good shape this old wrench i thought was so cool because it had this bend to it with a 916 i use 916 a lot um, on a lot of the remodels it's a williams super wrench let's see if that'll focus there doesn't seem to want to catch it. There it is. Uh, but this is a long wrench. Nice little specialty wrench. That'll be a fun project to clean up. A couple other little odd things. Look at this hammer. I thought it was interesting. It could just be a gimmicky novelty thing. I don't know. But this I found interesting that this part was actually aluminum. And it might be one of those things where everything screws in together and it has the extra things. I don't know. It could be one of those gimmicky things. But I thought it would be a cool little thing to clean up. A nice little hammer for different things and whatnot. Made in the USA, scratch all, Western Forge, tip as sharp as can be, just needs to be cleaned up. This I picked up because it's a little just ratcheting driver, but it had these octagon sockets on it. And I come across these a lot from time to time, and I got a pretty good collection of these. A lot of them made in the USA, um, and I never really had nothing to drive them on because they pretty much are made to go um on something like this versus like a quarter inch drive ratchet so i thought it was cool it's you know it's got the selector switch here you go reverse you could put it in neutral and it would work just like a driver you could do it anyway so i don't know just something interesting it says it's the socket tool company made in it says usa on it but i don't know it might just be patent pending in the usa and then a bunch of miscellaneous hardware was already in this that I was bundling everything in with a fresh thing of blades 
double-edged blades and hardware. You can never go wrong having hardware. So I took all of this, bundled it with this mill of forge, uh, Miller's Falls <laughs> um, vice, and I made an offer. I said, I'll give you 15 bucks for everything. And she was kind of like, hmm. she knew because I buy, I bought from her in the past that I'm a pretty good customer. And she said, ah, I was really hoping for 25 for just the vice. So we met in the middle about 18, I paid her $18 for everything. And like I mentioned, then I was walking out and I ran into that gentleman who was puffing a cigar. And I said, man, today's a beautiful day. I, I might grab a cigar myself. And he said, well, if you like tools, get over to this place. And I knew I couldn't go uh, this, today, that day, because I had to get home and do some things around the house, clean the gutters out. It was a nice day. Uh, so I said, I'll check it out online if I could find it, and then I'll go the next day. And this is what I saw. So this place was absolutely packed with toys, mostly trains, Lionel trains. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg, these pictures I'm showing you here. I'm talking, it had to be a half a million dollars in trains in this place. Unbelievable collection. The guy worked for the railroad and was into trains, had signs. I mean, you name it, he had it. Toys up the wazoo. Um, this is, like I said, a fraction of the amount of stuff. Um, so it, there was also a ton of tools. Uh, I went the next day, like I mentioned, and a lot of it was picked over, uh, but I did okay. So let's take a look at some of the pictures here of the tools. Most of this was gone by the time I got there. There was the bench grinder, but I just picked up one of them. That was still left. All those tools along the wall were gone. Love that Craftsman toolbox. All those sockets were gone. The toolbox was still there. I could have made an offer on it, but I didn't. Mm, I like that router table. Drill press was gone. And uh, let's see what I ended up with. So unfortunately, most of the tools were really picked over, a lot of the hand tools and whatnot. And I did get some gems, which I'll show you there in a minute. I don't know if they're gems, but they're pretty cool stuff. But I ended up with this router table and it is sitting on a sweet base. Uh, it's gonna need to be cleaned up, but that base is really sturdy, awesome. I'll show you how it works in a second. And this is a 42 inch router table. And the router's actually in it, as you can see there. It's got all the hardware in there to go with it as well. And it just needs a good cleaning and a good going through. If you remember, I just picked up a router uh, last weekend and I think I paid uh, $30 for that and a bunch of other bits and stuff. So it worked out well uh, because now I have the bits and everything to go with this. Seems that there's one in there, it's probably rusted up, but it felt pretty sharp. I think this thing is pretty awesome for the price, which um, I'll tell you about in a minute. So here's how the base works. You just kick this up, you kick this up, and it lifts the whole unit up, and you're able to push it and move it. And then when you want to lock it, you'll see it actually goes down. See how the whole unit goes down? When you push it down and it levels back out, so it is super easy to wheel around and move. It is just gonna need some good elbow grease. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna wipe it down with WD-40 or actually, I'll probably that's what I'll do. And then the spots that are really kind of rusty, I might just hit with a little bit. And it's solid, it's not, it's just a little bit of surface rust. And you know, some of this stuff's peeling, tiny little spots here, I'll just sand. And I could always just spot paint some of that to get it up and running. Obviously the wrench, no big deal, easy to clean. So. He wanted a buck and a quarter for this, and I said, I'm not even close to that. I said, honestly, I was just looking for the table. I got a router. So he said, what do you think? And I said, I'm thinking about 50 bucks. He said, nah, that's too little. I said, all right, well, maybe we could do about 60. He said, why don't you take a look around, see what you could find, make a pile, and we'll talk the price. And that's what I did. So let me show you what I got in so here. So the first thing I noticed when creating this pile was this old Craftsman toolbox and these were great if you remember these used to come full with tools and made in the usa and they weren't cheap i want to say they got like probably 250 350 bucks they ran all sorts of deals on them and the trays in them were so cool they actually pulled out and they came with all the tools in them none of the tools were in here most of the stuff was really picked over as far as hand tools go um, but these are great because you could use them inside a toolbox 
um, in, as like a draw um, insert type thing, or I could just refill them, use them to, um, you know, this is still a functioning, a good functioning toolbox because uh, it's a quarter inch drive could go in there, three inch drive goes in there, SAE and metric, and it gives you all the key stuff. So just for like something to have in the back of a car or um, in the shed or something like that, another work area, and then this one's just an open uh, spot. So you could pile stuff up in there, even though I'm missing the one drawer, which was the half inch drive set that went in there. So this was empty, but I liked it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to use start piling stuff in here and throw it into the bundle. So let's see what else I got. Before going into that, I want to show you this baby that I threw in the drawer. I had it like this when I bundled it. And this is a monster right adjustable wrench. 18 inches it measures. It's as wide as this toolbox. Literally 18 inches. I don't know what the opening is. It's got to be over 2 inches. This will be really fun to clean up. This will be a great project. Who knows what? I mean, this is worth some serious money. If you were to buy a Made in the USA 18-inch wrench, and it's got some serious weight to it. Um, and then on the top here, I threw this in. This is some butcher's wax bowling alley paste. This will be fun to use in some uh, projects. I've seen guys use this on wood. It's even plastic. I think they've seen this where they polish stuff uh, with it. I think the, uh, Wire from Wireworks just did a video with using this. So I'm assuming it's still good. It's sealed up pretty well. Threw it into the bundle. And now let's look what I got in that drawer. I pulled out the tray here so we could take a look. I wanted to find some items that were useful, maybe some stuff I could do projects, as well as some stuff that I could maybe resell to make a couple of dollars uh, back and maybe uh, get this router for even cheaper than I you know, initially ended up getting it for. So I'm working on a project right now that needed a cord, so I got that. Here's a nice old nail puller. Craftsman, made in the USA. For some reason it does not want to focus with a handle on it. Um, these come in handy and it has a really heavy duty nail puller. Um, this I thought was so cool. How about this? This is a Klein. And I have no idea what the heck it is. Some sort of like universal nut driver type thing. I'm going to do some homework on that. I thought that was so cool. Made in the USA Klein universal nut driver. That's got to have some value or at least a unique kind of cool thing. Made in the USA Western Forge cotter pin puller. That'll come in handy. I haven't checked the brand on this, but I'm thinking if it's like a Klein, they go for a lot of money. Have to see if it is, uh, but that's a step bit. They come in handy. Uh, what else? Got a bunch of vice grips. You know what? It might be easier for me to just lay this out in a little quicker. All so right. let me do that'll that. be a little better and a little faster. So who's ever seen a vice grip like that? I never seen one with that type of configuration. If you know what that is, let me know, please. But these are made in the USA vice grips when they were made in. Um, I believe it was DeWitt, Nebraska. Yep. Um, here's another old set of ice grips. Love them. Can't beat them. Um, these I always wanted. I don't, I don't own any of these thumb or whatever you call them, wheel drivers. These are just Taiwan made ones. Nothing crazy. But I figured, you know what? Well, it looks like they might even be made in China. I think they are, yeah. I, I You know, I always saw these SK makes them, and I said, you know, I'm gonna, I figured, it, hey, they're basically going to be for free if I throw them in a bundle. If I like them, hey, I'll get more of them uh, in a better brand if I find out that I end up using them and they're useful. Uh, just a couple of USA May wrenches. I love half inch. I, you know, it's the most common size. So just to have them around the back of the shop, wherever, different places, uh, 9 16 as well. Uh, here's a beautiful push drill. So here's one that, if you remember, um, I showed you just a few minutes ago on that old beat up one. This one is like brand new. So sounds like it's got the bits in it. And if not, look at this. I found some Klein bits that go for a push drill. They are all in there. I'm assuming they'll fit in there. They look almost identical. It's just missing really one it looks like. So that was a score. I bet you that has some value to it. I didn't look it up. Old Craftsman. These are my favorite of all the vintage Craftsmen. These are the thumb wheel. I love these. This will clean up like new. 
This is my third one on these, so I will be willing to sell this one. I'll put this one up on eBay at some point. As much as I love them, um, I, have the th I only need two of the things I love, not three. <laughs> um, this is a Super Ratchet Williams. These are great. They're actually pretty fine tooth for the vintage era that these are from. I own one of these as well. So I'll clean this one up. I'll see which one's in better shape. The one I own or this one. And I will sell that on eBay as well. You know, those are all $20 bills. So if I could get 20 and 20 for those two ratchets at least, if not more, then I will um, get half of my money back. Maybe more. This is just a cheap, I didn't really, it was even in there to be honest with you, but this is a little quarter inch flexible. Seems like it's pretty fine tooth. It'll clean up. Taiwan maybe? Yeah, Taiwan. So not terrible. It'll clean up. Come in handy. Blue point. You know, they're rusty. They'll clean up. These are reversible snap ring plies, so you could use them both ways. This is just a great little thing to have. Some SK sockets. Love when I could pick up some SK sockets. They're all like brand new. I like the collar on this. That's why I grabbed it. Those so when you're plunging, it'll stop at a certain depth. Not sure what type of bit that is though. But uh, that collar will come in handy, I figured. A couple of nice extensions here. This one's a proto six inch 3H drive. And how about this snap on? Snap on two inch drive. Can't beat that. Let's look at this hatchet. The first thing that stood out to me with this hatchet is that it had this USA uh, pouch on it. So I just assumed it was something from the military. Um, so I pulled it out and it seemed like it was in pretty good shape. And I figured, you know what, if it's not collectible, who, who cares? It'll be a fun project to restore. And it actually feels really useful. It has a really nice curve. It feels wonderful in the hand. Obviously, this is all taped up with some electrical tape. So... I'm assuming there's probably damage to the handle. I'll have to dig into that when I do um, my restoration on it. But I was looking for some marks on it, and I was able to find some on the handle here, I believe it was. Let's see where it is. So I wiped it down a little bit with just some WD-40 to see what it is. And there's actually a little bit, like, looks like an eagle on there, and it says, Be Prepared underneath it. And then up top here, it says Bridgeport. And then on the handle, it says made in, it says U.S. And then I can't read it, but then it says made in the USA um, underneath it. I don't know if it's um, collectible or not, or if it's valuable U.S. Uh, military stuff. I doubt it. It's probably very common if I had a guess. Uh, but I plan on, if it's not, using it. I mean, if, you know, it, it feels good. It still has a pretty sharp edge on it. A lot of times I like to chop a little pieces of wood up for my smoker. Um, and this would do the trick just perfectly. It is ergonomically feels well. You could just, it is just so well made. And this will be a fun project to um, clean up and get looking good. If you know anything about this, please let me know in the comment section. Let's wrap this video up. So this is how I bundled everything together. Went back to the guy running the estate sale. Um, I said, how about I give you $70 for everything? He said um, 80 and I said, I'll meet you in the middle at 75 and we made a deal. So I got the router table with the router, all the attachments, the stand, which is awesome. I mean, that stand is phenomenal. That alone is great. And then all of that tools on top, um, which I think is well worth the 75 bucks. Plus the other haul I got for $18. I think I had a pretty good weekend. So there's one more thing I think I'm going to do with this stand. Tell me what you guys think. I don't plan on doing a ton of woodworking, but this router table will come in handy. But what went into my decision making process when buying this, and it had this awesome stand. And my next purchase, I think, is going to be a mini lathe. Uh, I think I'm going to finally bite the bullet and buy one. I know Harbor Freight has a couple of models on them. Uh, if I could get a good deal on it where it's like 20% off and then I could sign up for the coupon and get 30% off and get one for about 550 bucks, I think I'm going to. And this stand, I think, would just be perfect to go on top of it. The height on this is also awesome, 39 inches to height. So if I had to adjust things on the mini lathe, I just think that would be perfect. Uh, being that I'm taller, I really like the higher work surface. So let me get, let me know in the comment section if you know about those lathes from Harbor Freight. Um, if you think that this would be a suitable 
uh, bench top station for it as well. Put uh, let me know about that. And um, if you like tool hauls, if you like tool restorations, if you like tool reviews, please like and subscribe. Appreciate everybody watching, and I'll talk to you soon.